Hey everybody and welcome to the Alba Championship 2023. Sorry for the late start, there were some technical problems. Um, but we're here now, despite Twitch being a bit weird and all that, but we're here now. I hope you can hear us. Let's do a quick sound check. Hello, hello. What about my fellow hello. casters? Yeah, can you hear me? Hello. And hopefully chat will say something now if they can or cannot hear us. Sounds like they one can. One person has confirmed. We have one confirmation. Awesome. Hearing is working. Hearing is Yay. working. Nice. The ears are working. Okay. We made it. We're here. Thank you all for coming. Um, as I said, we are about to start the Albert Championship 2023. And um, I almost forgot what year it was. Yeah, I was almost I was almost saying 2022, but uh, been there, done that. Now <laughs> we did that tournament already. Yeah, world raiding. No need to do Yo, that again. The raid. Arl Jim with the raid. And he hello, everybody from Arl Jim stream. Good to see you here. So um, yeah. My name is East Village, and today I'm joined by Code Red and Vess. Hello. Hi. This is only my second time casting a Rocket League bot event, I think. Unless there was another time that I'm forgetting. Yeah, I think that might be right. Um, you're also both participating in the tournament. Um, true. This is true. We are biased casters. <laughs> we are so Very. biased. We are all participating. Super biased. Yeah. Um, East Village is going to start arguing when Bitbot plays Phoenix. Yeah, I mean, if I don't lose to Noob, but first. <laughs> Did uh, you guys make any changes we should look out for? Uh, I haven't made any changes yet. I'm currently in the pro in progress uh, making changes to King, but they're not they're not going so hot right th at this moment. So yeah. I have not pushed them. Yeah, Noob so. is hopefully better than last year. Can't promise anything though. Okay. Yeah, I did fiddle a bit with Phoenix as well, but I don't expect it to be a huge notable difference. Um, if I find more time, uh, maybe I can make some more changes. But yeah, for now, it's only a small things. And uh, that's Next the cool go. thing about the, the format we are playing um, this year. Let me just uh, explain that. Um, because the first thing you should know is that there are two brackets this year. There are a hard-coded bracket and a machine learning bracket. And that's because the, the two categories are getting so far apart that we we have to split it up uh, both to be fair but also because it makes the tournaments a bit shorter. Uh, so what we are going to play today is the start of the hard-coded bracket. If you want to see the machine learnings you should come back uh, on the Sundays, the next few Sundays. But hey, stay please. Come and watch the hardcoded bots as yeah. well. Uh, that is Trust just as fun. Yeah. Um, Honestly, the hardcoded bots, in my opinion, more exciting because you know there's a chance for Nexto not to win every time. <laughs> yeah, True. It's closer competition. They are. They well, are maybe more. Maybe there'll be some upsets. I don't know. They're also more different. Like they have more personality, if you ask me. Though, on the downside, yeah. they are maybe not as good, maybe not like, as exciting in that case. Uh, I mean, also yes, funny. machine learning is literally better in terms of skill. Not necessarily more fun to watch, at least my opinion. But machine learning is still fun to watch. Both are fun to watch. Yeah. It's like, why watch Nexto save a shot every time when you can watch, like, Bitbot with an open net? <laughs> it's a lot more <laughs> laughs. But yeah, so we have two brackets. One for hard-coded, one for machine learning. Uh, both brackets consist of two stages. First there's a bubble sort stage, and then there's an elimination stage. Um, the bubble sword stage is actually three weeks long, so this is the first week of the bubble sword stage for the hard-coded bracket. And then once we have found a, a top eight here, those or that top eight will then move on to the elimination stage, and then that will end up with a final once we get to September. And hard-coded winner does play machine learning winner, right? Yes. But that's mostly considered a bonus match. Yeah. Yeah. But then that, that's, that's going to be in September. For now, we're going to play uh, the bubble sword stage. Um, 
So we have some submissions for this week, but um, if if you wanted to submit and miss the deadline, then good news. You can still submit at this point and then you'll just participate in the next week. Uh, you'll be inserted at the bottom of the ladder and have to climb maybe a bit further than the others, uh, but you can still make it. Um, and there's two more weeks for that. Uh, if any of the bots already submitted wants to update, they can also do that and uh, that will free them up and, and maybe unlock them from where they are. They can start moving around again. Um, You'll, I'll explain why that could be interesting in just a moment. Um, actually, I will think I'll do that right now, because now that you know what the overall structure is, we can talk more about what's going to, ha going to happen today. Uh, we're going to play uh, this game mode that we call the Bubble Sword. Um, and actually, the Bubble Sword is its a sorting algorithm, but... Um, it, it, so it's not really meant to be a tournament. Um, what can I say? It's not really meant to be a format that you play in a tournament. We, but we like to use it because we're all nerds and computer science people. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, the the short explanation is that this arrow that you see on the overlay right now, um, this circle and an arrow, it will move up and down on the ladder, and um, whenever it points to two butts. We will compare those the skill of those two by playing a match, and um, regardless of who wins, or the, the winner will be put on top, and then regardless of who wins, the arrow will move up until it reaches the top. Then it will turn around and move down again. So actually, it's a bi-directional sword if you want to be technical. Also, we have gambling, I think. And there's yeah, talk yeah, that there might be gambling uh, uh, and predictions uh, along the way. But so with all of that, stay, stay for the gambling. <laughs> I don't know what the plans are for the predictions yet. We'll figure that out uh, as we go along. But I think it's time to just jump into it and say that our first match is going to be Noob Bud or Noob Blue versus Phoenix CS. And uh, Bumblebee is currently seated number one. Yes, someone asked, "Is Bumblebee favorite?" Yes, uh, but that is in the machine learning bracket. Oh, no, no, sorry. No. Hardcore bracket. Yeah. Sorry, misheard a thing there. I am Easy. focusing on starting a match right now. Mal just subscribed for eight months and he said, let's go Phoenix, so. Yay, let's go oh, Phoenix. Oh, let's go Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix to win. Sorry, scum class. Okay, so while our first match is loading, I also just want to mention that um, we're going to play uh, best of four. Uh, the original plan was best of three. Of, no, sorry, first of three. Um, but since we don't have that many submissions, I think we can extend it to first to four instead. Okay. Get your predictions in, guys. The game is opening. Oh. Now we need Albert to connect to it. We have a connection. We have a match. Yay. Let's Yay. go. Let me find All a right, screen nobody share. Leave, nobody leave. Let the casters see the bat the match. I'm first the viewers should see the match. Now I need to find you guys. But indeed, we have a match. And we almost had the first goal already. Oh, my. oh, noob with the first goal from downtown. Long clear. The last Phoenix was caught unaware. See how noobs kick off fares against Phoenix's speed flip. Actually, Ooh. pretty cool. Noob with the counter and the flick. Phoenix does have multiple kickoff strategies, so. I think what we saw there was one of the safe ones, but uh, it should also maybe learn, if I dare say that. Phoenix trying to pinch. What is better? Does this spot need to be in the ML black bracket east if it's learning? Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's 
way more hardcoder than it is learning. Noob taking a shot, but it rolls across. Nice double jump with five. possession. Courtesy of Code Red's own utils. Yup, this is true. It's not really turning uh, into oh, a clear. Oh. oh, here we have something, maybe. Finally some movement on the orange team. <laughs> can Noob save that? Yes, it can. Oh, that's yes, a good it can, but, but it was a double commit by Phoenix. Very slowly going back to net, and that's a goal. That was a grave mistake. And that was a good, good clear slash shot from Noob. Noob's rotations are impeccable at the moment. Yeah, people about yeah, to lose I... some points. This is true. <laughs> yeah, it looks like yeah, uh, it looks like Noob, but oh, oh, interesting. What kickoff strategy is this? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. I've never seen this one before. Only the back one was supposed to do that. Okay. Are they awake now? Nope. <laughs> no, this is a long-term kickoff strategy. Yeah, it's just waiting. Is there any errors? No, no errors. Out. Looking good. <laughs> no errors? <laughs> so this is... Okay. I <laughs> Long-term uh... kickoff strategy incoming. Noob is confused. <laughs> he doesn't See, understand it's... what is going on. It's just waiting the for Noob to... The ultimate mind game. calculated. Yeah, the mind games are actually insane. Oh, wait, oh, Gabe saved oh. us. No! Oh. So close to saving it. Yeah. Yep, yeah, there's no errors, so I have no idea what's wrong. Okay. Phoenix, the AFK strat did not work. They're still doing the AFK strat. Yeah, okay. So, this looks like it's gonna be a loss. Yeah, um, wait, what's Mercy? So Josh, Mercy yeah. is 7, but it's best uh, first to 4, so it's never gonna happen. Ah, okay. <laughs> but it's technically implemented. Let me, let's just see no, Noob score here, if he can hit the open goal. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to do it manually. <laughs> Come, on, the... Come on, <laughs> Come on. Come <laughs> on. Lining himself Peak up with the ball like Okay, I think if I just do this manually, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Noob is goading uh, Phoenix on, trying to get him to join. Now Noob's joining with AFK strat. Uh, that's me who shut it down, but... <laughs> oh. Uh, and and no, let's say Noob peak. won that one. That would've been, yeah, peak hard-coded gameplay, so true. This is the essence of, yeah. Of hard coded. Used by Zen himself, so true. Proves that hard coded bots are actually uh, as close to RLCS pros in skill. Of course. At least on the meme level. But uh, yeah, as you will true. now see on the um, the ladder, Noobbot moved up oh, no. and uh, we placed a lock between Noobbot and Phoenix. And that lock means that we have compared these two bots before and we know that. Noobbot is better. Okay. Uh, so, we cannot. Noobbot cannot move past Phoenix right now. There has to be something else that moves in between first. Uh, and as we go along, you'll see more and more of these locks appearing. Uh, and the more there are, the more finished we are. So Phoenix is stuck unless Noobbot moves up. Exactly. Got it. Code Red, how many channel points did you gain? Uh, oh man, I wasn't looking. Well, I have 9.8k channel points right now, but I don't know how much that was from the last one. <laughs> I don't think it was that much from the last one. I mean, if there were two okay. points on it and one of them were yours and there was like a thousand on the other team. That's true. Nice it was like, well, well, I only put in one point and someone put in 20. So oh, I see. I didn't get that much return from it. Someone oh, got a lot. Bitbot with a very late kickoff here in the, uh, the next match. No, that's the strategy. That seems to work pretty well, yeah. The Bitbot has the uh, Vengeance Snoopbot is uh, going back now, or taking the offense. Not sure I want to Is this a game. bot dish? Oh, Bitbot. oh that was oh. almost saving in time, but the bot dish turns out. So Noob takes the first goal. He's uh, showing off that uh, the initial seeding was completely wrong. Completely 
wrong. He is in fact not a noob, or at least not not that noob. Bitbot just forcing through the kickoff. It was like, okay, no kickoff didn't work, let's just do a double kickoff then. Noob with the follow. Oh! Barely a save by Bitbot. Now Bitbot taking it slow by the wall. Noobbot seems to be bumping the goalkeeper. Bitbot, or Noobbot 1 that is. Noobbot 2 Ooh. makes the save clear, but there's a shot back immediately by Bitbot. It goes wide. Noob clear, putting it to, into the corner. Is Bitbot there? Bitbot is there. Noob These heading two, back. Oh. <laughs> two very defensive bots, so... Yeah, it seems so. Bitbot dribbling. Or at least staying behind the ball. Noob, but, uh, nice flick. Makes a nice flick. This is very wide though. And he does not seem to be... Uh, he will not be assisted by his teammate, who's just keeping the goal all the time. Oh, Almost a goal-scoring opportunity there. It's a nice Ooh. touch off the wall oh. by Nuba. Oh! Ooh. The aerial? Very nice. Hitting up the wall. Hitting it center. Bitbot almost hitting it. Bitbot, bit bit nice clear. clear downfield. Can he score? Oh! Ooh. Oh. oh, the demo! Oh, it, was, it was trying to go for the demo and then it retreated, I don't know why. Ah, uh, he should have committed to that. I think it would have got, went in. Nice hit on the, uh, off the corner. Slow and steady match. They might uh, play the whole five minutes. Pretty even, yeah. Both pretty defensive. Always having one person back. Ooh, dangerous save. Bitbot with possession. Yeah. Hits it over one new bot. Yes, no. Is the other boost. one gonna come? Nope. Nice and patient. Oh, but the other new bot or bitbot is there, but it's all. Can't off. quite get it on target. Ooh, a pinch. Wrong direction. Nubat's uh, defense has been pretty solid so far. It's on the hitting it to the side. Ah, oh, bit bust. You missed the boost. Come on. <laughs> Unfortunate. Will Bitbot be able to dunk Newbot here? Oh. No! The other Newbot almost messes it up. Came in for the save at the last second. Ooh, that's a nice double jump. Bitbot hitting up with the wall, but too scared to go up himself. Newbot trying to hit something off the wall there, but... Oh. Bitbot passing to its other Bitbot. And then the other Bitbot misses. Bitbot could really That's use some more cool. boost, both of them. They are always running very low. Right when you said that, it looked like the other one went for boost. Yeah, but then he also slowed down. I'm not sure he actually got there. No, they they basically just take turns. One of them goes for the ball, the other gets into a defensive position. Was Nubot doing the uh, the psionics all-star uh, humping the wall strat? Wait. Bitbot? Oh, I like doing some jukes. Nice hit. Tom's running out for a bit bot. It's got a score. Doesn't look likely though. That's a good clear downfield by new bot. Follows it up too. Bitbot has possession here. Can they get a strong hit? They nope. only have ten Instead, seconds. Try to dunk. Nope, no oh. dunk. Looks like Noob is gonna take this game. one. Come on, miracle clear. Nope. Uh, non hoded hard coded bots are gonna play tomorrow. The hard coded bots they will get better over the course of these uh these matches.
but they won't be next. Don't expect Nexo gameplay. Oh. But yeah, we are moving towards the top, so we should see a higher, higher on skill level as we move. And that's our <laughs> second match. The fastest gameplay ever. I could barely see the touches. So true. Exactly. Uh, so I saw some people arriving late and asking about the bracket and then such. Um, the bracket, there is no bracket, or at least not a typical tree shaped bracket. Uh, we're playing a bubble sword, which means we are just uh, comparing each bot at a time uh, using this little arrow you can see on the screen right now. Um, and the, the circle and the arrow just moves up and down and up and down, and whatever it points to, we play a match between those two bots to figure out which one is bet better, and then we swap those two if we need to. Uh, and then we keep going until we uh, have finalized a ladder that doesn't move around anymore. And there you are blue two... top of the ladder, maybe? Seems it's like you can blue. do it. It's already, already climbed two places. The new bot is doing good. Uh and there are two brackets or ladders hard coded in machine learning. Yes. Which is why the machine learning bots are not here today. They'll be here tomorrow. So it's split in a hard coded ladder and well, a bracket and a machine learning bracket. And today we are focusing on the hard coded. Uh, come back tomorrow if you only want to see the machine learning. But of course you don't only want to see machine learning. Stardust what kind of person are you? Stardust, Stardust is a nice design. Stardust created by created by Flaming Fury in Python. Ah, cool. I've not seen them before. Will Noob get the yeah, third so win of today? Stardust is a <laughs> uh, Star Stardust Hello. is a bug created by oh, what was his name? Flaming Fury, I think. Flaming Fury, yeah, and um, it was oh, made dish. for the uh, skill oh, quest dish. course. Ah. Well, that's very cool. Yeah, Skill Quest is a. If you guys don't know, it's a course to learn Python by making Rocket League bots. And I, I don't know if Stardust was the best bot of the course, but it has been submitted to the championship. I just, so. I just realized that the last two goals in the last ten minutes. There's only been like two goals in the last ten minutes, and both of them have been bot dishes by Newbot. I think it's, that's Newbot's strategy. It's a very common strategy for. For the low hard coded but low skills, yeah. That is true. Um Stardust, nice hit. The new bot. Oh, Stardust going for the aerial. Oh, and the second touch by the other one, but not on that. What was that recovery by Stardust? That was crazy. Yeah, Stardust is Open moving uh, quite a bit faster than uh, new bot. If we look at just the average speed here. True, oh, but new, new bot. bot oh. Ooh, It'll be another bot dish. Oh, Stardust, come, come on. on. Uh. Oh. Dang. New bot. You know, Stardust got some moves, but can't figure out how to navigate the goal, which is uh, quite important for saving. Yeah, those goal posts and the wall, they always get in the way. It's like, wait, should I be on the wall? Wait a minute, I'm on the wall anyway, how do I get off? Wait, here's a post? Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go there? in a straight line. Oh, Ooh, start nice with the Nori Aerial. Oh. New Blue is also is up. Oh, can New get it's the follow-up? Uh, oh! It's a tight angle, to be fair. Start with a target? hit, but it's just off. Yeah. New would have had it, to be fair. Oh, open? Nice. Good angle by Stardust. I'm liking the car and goal explosion from Stardust, I gotta say. It's pretty cool. Nice shot, capitalizing on a slightly awkward moment from Newbot. Oh, that's Ooh, a good area. Nice shot, but a good, good save. save, though. Stardust is looking very good cut. here. Oh. What a goal. That went just by the post. Perfect setup and then yeah. hit it just around new bot. So 
So that brings it to us to 2-2. Two, two. Nubot seems kind of cheesy with its goals compared to Stardust. Yeah, Nubot's doing more of a... more of defensive play, and the things that are working out are Stardust's, like, mistakes on the goal post. Yeah, I gotta say, this is a very well-rounded match. You get to see two totally different play styles going against each other. It's pretty even. Yeah, it is. Surprising. Stardust a little confused. Nubot pushing it downfield. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's good. Oh, Stardust 2 decided to leave that one for Nubot. Oh, they're both up. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Double jump. Wait, was that a pinch? That seemed to have way too much power. Ooh, okay. So this is actually something I know Nubot does. Oh, speed You can flip. see that both, both Nubots were committing for that, but one actually jumped over the other. And I know that Scum Class has put in some anti-bump code, which I think Bumblebee also has. I yeah. think it's pretty oh. cool. I, I've noticed it too. Noobot is really good at evading demos. Oh, Stardust. Oh, yeah, Stardust is trying. for an aerial off the wall, but... Oh. Ooh, a nice hit. A, a light little touch here, while Noobot uh, misses the save. Unfortunately, again, it's the post. It's actually following the bot dish, almost. Stardust winning the kickoff, but dying in the process. A worthy sacrifice. Or a noble sacrifice. The other Stardust cool. stealing the boost, and the other one drives past the ball. Ooh, what a pinch. Can Noob touch this? Oh, wow. That was impressive to, like, get that in the right direction while going backwards on the wall. Yeah. Decent hit. Oh, Stardust almost there. Yeah, he, he, he was almost ready to receive that one. Now they're falling back to a defensive position, okay. Good clear. An opportunity, nice but Noob is there. Oh, yeah, and uh, chat, by the way, we are playing, yeah, first to fall. Um, due to the Boom. number of submissions, well, we have time us. for that, so we're playing first to fall. Stars with the finishing move. Nubot couldn't clear that one away. And we have a match. Nubot has been defeated. Two game win streak. Yeah, so that was the end of Nubot's win streak and the arrow has now moved on to Stardust, and let's see how far Stardust can climb. His um, next opponent is Buddy, made by Rubby. A, our only Java bot in this tournament. Yay, Buddy! This will be interesting to see. Rubby is an OG member, he's been here for a while. So. And uh, Buddy is also actually a pretty old project, as far as I know. Um, oh, that was brought back. Oh no, what have I done with the overlay? Okay, there we go. Yeah. But uh, he he brought it back here for the uh, the tournament. For he had a chance now that the it was split in hard code and machine learning. Stardust. I like yes, I think Stardust. Well, well, actually, maybe it's just for blue team and orange team. I thought it was a randomizer for a second. All of Robbie's bots always have that car design. The stock chain. Oh, oh not Wildfire. Too. Wildfire looks very different. Oh, true. Well, it, it still is the the same wheels and boost, but it is a different car design. Why are you playing pretty fast? Oh, what a miss there. Gives Stardust the opportunity, but it's wide. This is a much faster game. Yeah, they are definitely uh, playing faster than the previous games we've seen. Stardust, oh, Stardust. improvising an aerial here. Um, oh, mostly a center on his own goal, but okay. Oh, that's a dangerous uh, pass. Nice hit off the wall. Stardust 
gives possession to Buddy, but Stardust is there to counter. Buddy going straight back to the other corner. Stardust coming in with an aerial. Now they're both here to put on some pressure. Retreating back though That's as open. Buddy takes position. That's a good long Ooh, shot. That's a nice shot. Buddy. Nice. I think other than like Bottoms Prime and Bumblebee, Buddy has the best rotations of a fast bot. It's very cool to see. I don't remember last time I saw Buddy, but I don't remember him being this good. I think it was in League Play, but no, it was not that good. It's an old project, so I'm, I'm actually not sure oh. if I've seen it in a tournament before. But uh, was he is looking good, yeah. Start us with an open net, maybe. This is the chance. Oh, but it's oh. taking too long. Oh, and then risk is saved Very by Buddy save. too, shooting it on his own post. Ooh, nice intercept by Buddy. Stardust going for the aerial and Buddy missing the wall shot. Double commit by Stardust and some miss. Oh, wait! Nah. Buddy making sure that one gets clear. It's a good touch. Ooh, that's gonna come center. Will Buddy roll to finish it? Ooh, Ooh, yes he will. I did not see the one sneaking up at the far post. Stardust just couldn't get back in time. This is not all. There's a machine learning uh, bracket as well. Uh, it's separate from the hard-coded one. So those bots will com compete tomorrow and every Sunday up until September 3rd is the machine learning final. Oh, Stardust! I will post a list of participants in the uh, Albert channel discord channel uh the events one so very nice shot all the participants and their makers then you can see it there yeah buddy just couldn't quite get back fast enough maybe stardust can uh, mount the comeback now stardust missing the aerial Buddy with a nice clear. I gotta say, Stardust has gone for a few unnecessary rolls, but they've been very fun to watch. True. Buddy with a good wall hit, putting on some pressure here. Ooh, is that a pass to Buddy too now? He was not quite ready. Both Buddies going back. Oh, but turning. Stardust gets a clear through. Oh, go just. Just need that to wait a little bit longer. Yeah. <laughs> a bit too early on the trigger. We're now back on the blue half. Oh, double, double commit, commit by, by buddy. buddy, but oh, I think Stardust oh. just bumped the other clone of Stardust. Oh, but that's still gonna be in. Ah, <laughs> oh. that that's a bullshit. Kinda... Buddy's just oh, stumbling on the ball. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so unfortunate. Actual turbo <laughs> flick. Yeah. See, we got RLCS and our robot too. True. Oh, the pinch. Stardust, not enough boost. Oh. oh and no. it jumps right past everyone. Oh. <laughs> everyone went more... and everyone missed. So close. <laughs> Will says skill solution question mark. <laughs> we need a solution for that skill issue. Oh, start us with a miss, buddy. Gonna oh. be able to put this one in. No, oh, no. rolling on the just goal need line. A flip. Buddy is oh, just one shot. goal away from victory. Buddy with a whiff. Oh my gosh, another skill issue. Damn, this is a close match. Wait, it's first to four, right? So we yeah, got one goal left. So now it's match point. Basically overtime now. Let's see if Buddy wins the kickoff. He does. That's a good clear though too. Stardust does have that aerial presence. If it chooses to go for it, it does. Oh, Ooh, it's, it's past nice aerial. aerial there. Both buddies. Let's see if he can make a good center here. 
Oh, what a block. Now Stardust needs to get back. Can with those speed flips, though. But with not any, with no boost in the tank. And now they're both double committed, but Stardust is taking too long. And with an unnecessary. Ooh, nice speed flip. We'll get it back in time for this. It's a good nice. block by Stardust. Yeah. Buddy, Buddy looks like he's taking safe. across the goal. This is oh, not good. Not Stardust. Safe. No, Stardust finishes it. Buddy. Damn. Buddy was ahead that entire game, too. The comeback. Come back by Stardust. Yeah. Came back from two goals down. That's a close match. So yes, uh, Ravi, you're right. The, the rules does say first to three, but we are now playing first to four due to the the additional time that we have. I mean, we did Robbie, we did waste some time on on uh, technical issues, but we do not have that many participants, so we do have time for our first to four, and that's very unfortunate in this case. At least for for Ravi. That means Stardust continues moving upwards. And is now going to play, play against Filament Bud, made by Lamp. Let's see who wins this one. I think Stardust. Stardust just on a roll. Filament Bot does have some nice. Um, Nice double jumps, nice saves, save potential. And Stardust with the unnecessarials might overcommit too much. It's true, Film's a very solid bot. Oh, but both a double commit there early on means Stardust has an open net. Oh, but it's oh, a miss. Oh, he hits the post. Uh, and it jumps too high, okay. Filament's safe for now. He missed his, uh, One his good opener. Commit. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's, oh, it's off. Oh no! Oh, no! no. <laughs> oh, please okay, get wait, back to save that one. The... Okay, that's a little too far. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. Okay, luckily he's very good at hitting the post. Oh, and the double jumps. See, this is what I was talking about. Filming with the double jumps. Just too powerful. Stardust pulling off a crazy save, but filming too high. Dunked on Stardust. Hey, East, can you check the caster channel really quick? Yeah. Filament winning the kickoff strong, and Stardust does have enough boost to get up to it. Filament up two goals already. Stardust needs to learn to time those aerials. It jumps a little too early and then doesn't have enough boost to get to it. Yeah, I don't think Gosling Utils takes some um, specific boost amount into account when it's going for an aerial. It's like, okay, if I have more than 30 boost, I'll be fine. Right, Which, yeah. The case. Oh, a nice clear opportunity, but Filament blocks it. Back and forth here, Stardust winning possession. Filament rushing back. Stardust with the block, it's in the corner. Filament. Fumbling with the ball. Uh, this could be an opportunity. Stardust finishes it. This is going to happen one of these times. Filament not quite being able to pose themselves well on the back, back line. And Stardust puts in the net. Okay, I'm back. Stardust hitting it backwards into the corner. Filament with a nice pinch that's in. Oh, wow. Stardust can't get back in time. That's a beautiful pinch.
I, I wonder if that's something it calculated and planned. I mean, maybe hitting the goal was by accident, but was the pin planned? I'm guessing it was probably just a double jump that just happened to, you know, be a really good pinch, but I don't know for sure. Ooh, oh, wait, the double commit. Goal? Oh, Stardust! Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so the challenge by Filament made that one go in, so... Stardust was trying oh, to get back, block. but... Yeah. But Filament was there. And that concludes our game. Concludes Stardust's uh, climb of the ladder. Also that. It had a pretty good run, I gotta say. True. Defeated new bot and the defeated buddy. Only barely, though. I wonder how Buddy versus Filament would have went. I'd like to see that. And Lamp was worried about getting destroyed by Stardust. Think about that. But it, but it was actually a one full match. Yeah. Now let's see if Filament can then beat Bribblebutt. That is a great quote. Yeah, <laughs> what is a wrangler? That's mm. not even a word. Most use a lot of usernames are not words. Dribble. Uh, With so the dribble. Dribble is to, known no. for its, its dribble. It's basically all it does. Um, and and it's not dribbling. It is Dribbles demoing. Demos. Yeah. I think Filament might have trouble here, because I don't know if Filament knows how to defend dribbles very well. It mostly double jumps and dribble. Just kind of dribbles it past both filaments. Yes, especially with these hard-coded bots that use ball prediction. They're having to constantly recalculate where the ball is going to be because um, Bribble's getting so many touches. It makes it especially difficult for them. Yeah, they they need to account for that in their code. Like, okay, the there's good ball touches oh, all the time. Then, then that means it's a dribble. Oh. Oh, it's going backwards now. Styling on oh, the filament. Oh, lost control. <laughs> Oh, going Bribble gonna take control here. Oh. The double demo off the respawn. Good save though. Wait, am I mod? I'm not mod, am I? Do you wanna be mod? I mean, someone's <laughs> asking to make for people to make predictions. I, I got mod, he gave me mod. Okay. And he gave Ralph mod. Okay, then you make predictions. I got you. I mean, this match has already started. It's probably unfair for this one. Mm, yeah, probably. I'll do it next one. If I can figure out how. Filament with an opportunity. Oh, but it misses. Bribble! Oh! oh. <laughs> on the... Uh, what's it called? The bar. On the backboard. Yeah. Or the bar. Ooh. Multiple times oh, now. Oh, a goal scoring opportunity. Filament is putting on some good pressure. But now Bribble has control. Starting at Dribble. Got tagged before nice I could hit. make a flick. Ooh. Double commit. Can Bribble turn this one in? The flick Ooh. misses the flick. I just kind of forgot to press A the second time. I guess if you're on Xbox. Would it be like X if you're on PlayStation? I guess. Ooh, that's oh, a good challenge filament. by Filament. What a challenge. Maybe we should take nice back what hit. we said earlier. He does know how to challenge yeah. and dribble. That was a perfect challenge. Yeah, Lamb says he might have some amount of anti-dribble code in there. Yeah, well, it looks like it's paying off, at least there. This could be an That's opportunity a good, good for a bot again. dish. Uh, oh. Bit early on that shot. Now Bribblebutt is Ooh, Bribble going to the blue to half. Go. Gonna try to attempt a bot dish. Nice Filament. save by Filament. Bribble's gonna take this back. Oh, what a challenge. Phoenix may have the height here. Can't turn it on net though. Filament, I think. Give me it. Where's oh, Phoenix? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Don't they, do they have the same car? 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. No? no, they don't. They don't. They have but a it's similar oh maybe okay maybe it is the same. It's it's similar for sure. And they both start with an F sound. Yeah, exactly. Ribble, oh. Are you circling the ball? I can loop. <laughs> a bunch of uh, filament. Falls. Okay, there we go. You can't move so, now. <laughs> someone in chat asked earlier when the peak Arlbot gameplay was. That was the peak Arlbot gameplay. Now the peak Arlbot gameplay was the Phoenix AFK strat. True, I think they're tied. Robot with the opportunity Ooh, here. The demo. The demo. It's Pace in. off. And he and survived the tackle too. from the other filament, but. You know, I just realized, I haven't seen Bribble's signature um, kickoffs too much this game. Yeah, Bribble but does have... have some very strong kickoffs. It looks like a filament might have a good counter to it, or at least something that doesn't yeah, yeah. lose horribly. Slow and steady, I guess. It's how you beat Bribble. At least it's kickoffs. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that got scary for a dash. second. The bump actually puts Filament in a better position to save it. Missed demo. Ooh. Two missed demos. That's some good dodging by Filament. Good challenge too. Maybe they can get the counter attack. Uh -oh. Ribble, where are you going? Ribble. What I is think this is a double jump there. Oh, okay. Oh, oh the, the bump. bump. Oh, oh no. but the finish from the other Filament. Yeah, Filament was so much lining up a shot here. It's a good thing he, we came in with a bump, but it just turns out it wasn't enough. There was another yeah, filament, but two filaments. yeah. You know, see, that's a scenario where double committing is a good idea, because if you want one of you dies, it will still go in. Uh, stream ends when we don't want to stream anymore. Yeah. Pretty much. Filament jumping over the demo, although I think that was just a jump for the ball. The bump. Build up the block. I always tell Lola, the creator of Ribble, that it would be so much better if it flicked when the opponent was challenging, not when it was yeah. about to score. Because that usually causes it to flick it to the crossbar. Like, he's so much better, but he does not seem to care. It's like not that hard to make it just. Oh, a nice counter. Is this? Is oh, this in? This could be in. Yeah. It just has to bounce. Oh, it's yeah. in! Fribble could not get around that. Filman takes the lead again. Four seconds left. Wait. What if Fribble gets its signature kickoff? Imagine. Corner, corner, kickoff. I don't know if we've already seen a corner. Oh, Ooh. this would be an opportunity. This is a corner, yeah. Let's see, Fribble. I think Filman might have the counter, though. No. Oh. But do we have enough time? Remember, okay, he has, he has a good follow-up. It's, it's a dribble bot. It can keep it up. True. Wait, that's true. This is the true. perfect recipe for the zero second goal. Oh, oh what a, what a nice hit. And another one. Oh, oh but it's still one. up. It's oh, still wait, going. It up. This is a long, oh, the, long oh, second. Oh, still there. Oh, still out of it. Oh, that's oh, it. There we go. Film it kept us in suspense. Film it with a nice win. Very close. This is Rocket League indeed. <laughs> Gentlemen, doing pretty well here. Ralf, do a prediction thing. Yeah, so if you want to do a prediction, now is the time. Filament Bot versus Duck. I think I may have to vote for Duck. Well, not vote for Duck, but I think Duck may win on this one. Duck was made by Soldier in C Sharp. Using red utils. So, you know, it's basically Code Red's bot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, Phoenix is also using Code Red's utils, so. That is true. Yeah, where's the prediction? That's up to Who you guys. Who's making it? Did, did I make you yeah, money? Oh, yeah. there you go, Rob. I have 20 channel points. I need to make money. Okay, what if I put like all of my 10k on duck? What would happen? 
I think you'd make I mean, you either... 10k in one point. Yeah. I think I'm gonna put... I'm gonna put 2k. Wait, that's two. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, oh, can I damn. add? I can't. Yeah. Okay. I can't I can't rig the prediction. I can't choose the outcome if I'm predicting with my channel points. I was just gonna say that duck won no matter there we what. Go. Put two K on duck. Well let's see if it pays oh, off. Oh wait, the counter kickoff. Nice block. We've only really seen one duck so far. Maybe this bot is also think... using a, a defensive strategy. I'm pretty sure that Soldier Doge told me that one duck just plays perma goalie. Like, no matter what, it just stays in goal. Ah, uh, so it's another. They may switch, but defender. I'm pretty sure yeah. it's just one attacking and one just sits in at the whole game. Well, it might work out, honestly. It might. I mean, it's mechanical enough. Fulfillment be able to break out of the oppressive nature of duck number two. Yeah, duck number two is putting on some really good pressure right now, alone. Oh, this could be an opportunity. Oh, there we have nice clear. clear. No, duck's duck got with it. a nice save. Oh, that's not, it's not good. almost a good redirect, but oh, uh, a nice save. That was a very good beat Wait, by duck. It's getting a bit risky here. There we have a good clear. Duck with control oh, again. Oh, like switch. Duck number oh, yeah. one is now the one on offense. Ooh, almost. Filament stopping the bot dish. Ducks oh, just nice. Too fast for oh, nice angle. Good challenge there. Dog, dog one alone making some uh, good effort here. It's going off the first way, goal it's of kinda, this match. It's kind of easier with bots to just make it just simple. Your goal, I'm forward. Because as soon as you get into trading off more often than that, then you get into scenarios where there's chances for double commits or... Yeah, or you, you either end up yeah, yes. double committing or um, rotating into yourself or weird things like that. Yep. Ooh. That duck was going for the air dribble there. But... Probably didn't have boost. Oh, Ooh, nice shot. So, for Lola asking in chat, the uh, lock on the ladder means that those two bots have played against each other and we know which one are best. Um, and that means we're not going to compare them again. We already know which one is best. So, they also can't move past each other anymore. Yes, yeah, so Filament is permanently above Bribblebot, unless one of you guys updates it. Yes. So, to get rid of the lock, you'll have to update your bot. Um, and that will remove all the known comparisons to it. And it can start moving again. Well, Soldier Doge, if you've tested Duck against the king that's in the bot pack, then you already know the outcome of this match. The next... well, assuming Duck wins this. Don't spoil it. Yeah, don't spoil it. <laughs> But I'm just saying, I haven't. This isn't a new king. And the dunk, wait a minute. Dunk with a nice dunk on filament. Is a bot dish to a goal? Oh, wait, never mind. But kind of. No, it's a, it's a dunk. By Free the dunk. Flip. Even though, it, knowing Red Utils, that was probably just trying to flip to get it in and then happened to land on it. No, it was calculated, of course. All calculated. That's true. This is hard coded at all. Ones that Everything's random. calculated. Exactly. Ooh, a nice hit pass. This could be an open net. Oh, nice oh, clear nice from Duck. Save. Going onto the backboard there. And a nice oh, second. another follow up. Double jump. Good play from Ducks here. 4 0, the sweep. Is that the first sweep or? I think I guess that's the first, the first sweep, yeah. The, first sweep. The, the other big difference game we had was 1 fall. Okay. The gamble was worth it, it was. I wonder how many points I'm gonna get. Probably not many. <laughs> oh, but a butt crashed when the match ended. Interesting. I'm just trying to build my points back up from betting them all on Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Great mistake. So, 
So yeah, Filament is now surrounded by locks. Wait. Interesting. Uh, Rolf, did you bet on the prediction? Because if you can, if you did, then you can't, like, say the result. Like, you can't choose who won. So, okay, never mind. Somebody did. One of the mods, yeah, cannot vote. Yay, I got 164 points for that. Good. For risking 2k. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Somebody got points. You got 700? Nice. I got 20. Epic. It's more than zero. <laughs> it is more than it's zero. It's more than negative. Alright, I'm... I think I gotta go with Duck. Although I'm gonna have to see. I know you're gonna dump all your points on King. So... Am I? Are this you? Is question. Is he? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he's bluffing. I don't know. It's... I don't know. I'm waiting. So okay, the... Can... I'm Both bots back. are made with the red utils made by our caster Code Red. But uh, yep, Code Red also true. made one of these bots. So let's see oh, if you can get go. more out of your own utils yes. than Duck can. Wow. That's a good a yes. good start for King. Come on, Duck. I need chip points, please. I'm so poor. We'd love to see it. Ooh, okay, Neutral kick off, no, but, uh... There. Nice shot. It's a good save. Duck, nice hit. King, King instantly up. He's up and touch it, but not for... I don't know. It's not very valuable touch. Oh, that's that on other hand. another goal. I think Duck messed up its save. You could see it jump, and then it went back down. I think it realized it did something wrong, but it's too late. The bad take off. Maybe. Yeah, we only oh, yeah, 30 no, seconds in and we already have two goals for King. King. I, and what again? I need to revert to this old version of King. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Damn. Oh, that's gonna be an open net. That actually would have been crazy, though. Like, I'm not even mad that King went for that, because that would have been... Oh, wait, that was also a nice hit by Duck, too. I yeah, didn't he that. had a very small hit there. King with possession. Ooh, the net turn. is open right now, but he has no boost. Ah. Ooh. Oh, the other king. But King 2 has boost. I think we all thought that was going wide. And King 2 came out of nowhere. Someone test King versus Redbot. Tell me the result asking for a friend. I don't actually know, even though I'm the creator of both. In twos, I just. I mean, I would guess King would be better in threes. And I'm pretty sure Redbot's better in ones. But in twos, I don't actually know. I mean, I would assume King, since Redbot's just the ball chaser, right? Isn't I would strength. assume, but Redbot's surprisingly decent in twos. <laughs> I've seen yeah, it before. It's not it's a like... double committing in, in, you know, in the problematic way. Oh! oh. Yeah, it's so fast, it can just get back immediately. Oh. And the... well, not sweep. <laughs> nice but... place from Kings. Jeez. 4-1. And that gives us a 4-1, yeah. King takes the win. One thing I want to add to... Like, I might revert to this version of King and just add the dribbles that I made. That might be all I do. Because I feel like any other strategy changes, or any other changes really, I just make him worse. <laughs> this one looks pretty good to me. But I want the dribbles and flicks. I mean, yeah, if you add the dribbles and flicks, but this strategy looks great. Yeah. Dribbles and flicks works best in ones, because that's where you True. have the space. Yeah, but I and then in, in twos have... it becomes a hard balance, like when to dribble and when not to dribble, because are yeah, the enemies too close that, or not? That checks how much time it has estimated, like. But anyways, yeah. 
I mean, I don't know. Adding dribbles might make it worse in some way, a little bit, but not like that much. And I want to see those flicks. I want to see it flick on bots like Bumblebee. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've seen that in testing. That is so. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Once you get to the higher level bots, they can basically save any long shot, but I think dribbles just throw any hard coded bot off, so. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Two bots to root for. <laughs> so, on your game. two babies. Oh my god, <laughs> I don't think I can vote on it. Oh wait, nobody's voting for Redbot. I'm gonna vote for Redbot. Because nobody's voting for Redbot. I have two I've got a lot of points to waste. You guys can get a lot of points from me. Oh! Oh! Will it follow it oh, up? Oh, good follow up, yeah. yeah. The bank ball and then in. Three point two K on King or on Oh wait, no, that was the old prediction. It's not showing me the new one. So yeah, I'm I'm excited to see how much we can see the, the uh, strategy that you have put into King compared to Red Butt that just ball chases. Oh, that's kind of a poor touch. Because as we see oh, right there for instance, the, both of the Red Butts will just go for the ball. They're just driving under the ball right now, on top of each other. Yeah. And <laughs> in the previous just, they're just going. Yeah, in the previous match, it did look like the kings were better at spacing out. Like here, for instance. That's oh, so what good. a pass! The pass. Okay, that was uh, that was cool. Nuts. King just hitting it to the middle, and of course the other king's there, upside down. It's already up. <laughs> yeah, that was good. What a goal! Swagger in the aerial. Wow. <laughs> and the super neutral kiggle because it's mirror. Oh, right oh dribble. the dribble! Let's go! Oh! Yeah! And number two coming oh, into steel. We love to see it. Goal secured. Three touch nice off the air dribble. air dribble. And when you thought King had it, the other red bot came. Dinked it right yep. over him. They're both always there. Unless you hit it past them. Then, they're ne then neither of them are there. <laughs> Maybe King can oh. do the same? No. no. This is making me want to bot using. Ooh, bot everybody's using up for kills. touching. Ooh, what a save. save! Just had the boost. King better get back here. Pops it up, that's smart. Flick. Red bot hits it around. 50. Hits Into the corner. You got the red bot there, no, King. Both the kings are up. This leaves an open net. I think open it's in. Net for Redbot two to yeah, put it in. The double King commit. King is not immune to the double commit. Yeah, unfortunate. So so far they are equal. Yeah. What a waste of effort. You put in so much strategy and they're just equal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Not, nice. That was a good pass as well. Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure he was just trying to put it in, but... Yeah. And also, the unfortunate miss by Redpot too. Don't, probably didn't have him enough boost. Redbots are goosed... Er, uh, goosed? <laughs> boost goosed guzzlers. Gobblers. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. the dunk! That's a win for King. Well, I lost 1k points, but I'm not really mad. A bump from King actually helped Redbot, but I think it threw it off. It just couldn't get a good touch out there. <laughs> CTA with these huge risks is winning every time. And CTA got a lot of decent amount of points from me. Basically a donation. <laughs> You got 10. How the hell did you get 10k points? Oh, no because you what? put in 9k. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, this is gonna be a match. Yeah. Now we, we reached the top, yeah. We're now going to see King versus Bumblebee. Bumblebee is considered one of the best freeze bots. But this is not freeze, it's two. I think 
I might know the outcome of this, but I'm not actually sure. So yeah, Bumblebee. Sorry, Bumblebee is the, the basically the perfect bot in terms of rotations. It uses hive mind, so it can talk to itself. So you will never see a Bumblebee double commit. That is true. But you know, Red Utils has those awesome aerials. So I mean, close. Bumblebee does have awesome aerials too. It's just a bit more bees conservative. Bees were made for threes, though. Yes, that's true. Bees were made for threes, but back in I think our lot twenty twenty one championship. Bumblebee got second, only losing to two elements, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we gotta do a threes championship next year. So Bumblebee did, is very good in twos as well. See, I haven't tested Bot Pack, back, pack, bot pack King against <laughs> Bumblebee in a very long time. Bot Pack back. back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, no oh, prediction need... for this one. We do have a Wretched oh, stuck prediction. in the top, but uh... Oh, oh yeah. right, they got the new Bumblebee car. Oh, they do. Oh yeah, they they do. They are That's actually awesome. Bumblebee hey, right now. Okay. Now I just want to see them win to see the celebration. King. King. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's fine. It was calculated. King also fine. wants to see the celebration. But not that much. The double commit. <laughs> it's totally fine. Everything from Bumblebee. Okay. There we go. Oh wait, that just did. Oh, the upside no, down. It's, it's wide. King with the clear. Bumblebee's got to touch this quick. It's a good pinch off its own post. King with a weird aerial. Oh, King's up for the next touch. Both kings went up. Probably a mistake. Soul is open. What a save. King keeping possession. Oh, Bumblebee almost puts that on net. <laughs> uh -oh. King, are you on going? Oh. No? Okay. Synchronizing perfectly. Love it. <laughs> Somebody in chat just asked, is this ROCS Worlds? Yes, but exactly. no. If I was... These game. are probably gold or planet level gameplay <laughs> bots. <laughs> Here we oh, go. No. Nope. Wait, King? Gets passed, but not on net. Well, Bumblebee. Yes, okay. Blumblebee. Blumblebee. It's a good clear. King. Oh, oh barely oh, gets a, a good touch chance. on that, but that's an open. Oh. No, it's not. It's missed. Post again. This is very uncharacteristic of Bumblebee. Good aerial by King. Oh, wow. Yeah, Bumblebee is the king of long shots as well. Oh, that's Where? a long aerial. <laughs> Oh, it it <laughs> well, it worked out anyway. Uh oh, King's got oh, no Oh, wait, moves. that's a pass. Yeah. There we go. Sniped it that Three time. minutes and ten seconds before the first goal. If the other King was a little closer, that could have been a good pass, but... That's hilarious. The description of Bumblebee is updated to Psionics released a Bumblebee bot for this... For, released a new car for this bot. True story. <laughs> this one has to be in the bot pack now. I think it is, yeah. Oh, it is? Oh, cool. Oh. Save. Coming in with a I shot here from King. Oh. It's still wide. Oh. Is he gonna pass that to the middle? Oh, with an air oh. maybe? Oh. Well, that's King too. There he is. There he is. Oh. It's Saint. awkward for Bumblebee. Looking to reach it back around, no. So I still leave it. Oh, it's good from Bumblebee too to make sure it wasn't getting bumped. Okay. Double commit, Ooh. that's not good. Uh, that's gonna be nice. in. Dodging to the other side would have uh, made King possible. Or, yeah, King able to save that one, but uh, he just went a bit too far out there. Got cold. Yeah, this version of King double commits a little, double commits a little bit more than I would like. <laughs> That's another Speaking double commit. Off, <laughs> Bumblebee takes a third goal. Come on, come on, King. We don't want to see a sweep. Get one.
Is this also an updated? I know it has a different car, but this is this also like updated code-wise version of Bumblebee? I believe there's some small know? changes, but uh, okay. I'm not sure. Oh Ooh. wait! Oh. Who? No, they're always there. They're always there. There's always a bee. In the beehive. King, maybe with an open net here. Yeah, that's a good attempt. But that's but Bumblebee safe. two is ready. To save that one. Oh. Two touches. Bumblebee one King with two. the clear. Oh. They were just a bit closer. Oh. King two, nice. Oh, Bumblebee two gets that. Oh no. Okay. Only one minute and ten left. Now King is also running out of time. King, nice clear, but that's gonna be saved. Oh, that's King, not a great save. Oh, no. oh, goes wide. Oh, that's oh. a good. Oh no, oh, save! Damn it! Oh, that was such a good touch, though. And now King, he's punished. Oh no. my god! The long shot. Damn. King, you okay, had so it. I do wonder if the extra improvements bubble to Bumblebee actually made a difference because I will say the laser from King is a lot closer with Bumblebee in testing. Well, so that maybe means that you're means doing something. King's better. <laughs> you're I doing something right. Will's just flexing in the chat. It's been forever since he's seen a Bumblebee win. Going up against all the ML bots. I mean, Will did yeah. contribute a bit to uh, to the B, so yeah. it's partially it was... his. <laughs> See, that's the, thing. the thing that's fun about a hard coded bracket is that it makes me feel a lot better about my bots than <laughs> yeah. when I test them against. The reason why I made so many changes <laughs> to King's strategy is because playing against Nexo is just oh, it's so painful. Yeah, or Necto even. It's like, my God, what are you doing? They they play so <laughs> differently the machine learning bots. Yeah. It feels so different. And maybe there's just too big of a gap there. Like, like it's 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 too big of a jump to go from playing against Bumblebee and SDC to going up, up against the machine learning. They play differently, they play at a higher level. So yeah, the strategy just has to be reworked. It's not just a tweak, it's complete rework yeah, yeah well i'd say code red you could keep the machine learning strategy i think um i think it was impossible with kamel he added um a thing where it actually read the names of the opponents and then if it saw like i think for kamel it was if it used tmcp or not like if it it had like a version where it used tmcp to communicate and one where it didn't and it's just like positioning and if like there's a bot that used TMCP on the other team, it would use that version. But if there were no TMCP bots, it would yeah, use the normal ignore list. Version. Yeah, I know about that. It's oh, I'm just talking stuff. about like I mean like just making strategies to go against like someone like Necto. Because it's like once you once you've got a hard code bot like King, who like apart from maybe Bubble Bee, is pretty close to the top of the hard coded ladder, then you start comparing yourself to like, I don't know two Nectos or something and it's just that's just a totally different ball game trying yeah. to make a strategy or anything to beat that uh there are lower ml bots that i can play against yeah red bot is like very close with monkey we've had multiple tournaments 1v1 tournaments where red bot and monkey like go back and forth which has been fun that's about as high i think of the machine learning ladder that my bots have gotten interesting I believe Monkey is the lowest seeded machine learning bot right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It's amazing. <laughs> oh. Anyway, we now reach the top of the ladder, so that means the arrow turns around and we are now going back down. So, yes, it's not a bubble sword, it's technically a cocktail sword or bidirectional <laughs> bubble sword. But whatever. Uh, this means we are both pulling butts up, but we are also dragging them back down if they do not belong in the top. And uh, the first one okay. we are going to test is red butt. So you may notice that we, we mm. skipped one here, and that's because we already knew the result of king and red butt. So now we are going straight to red butt versus dark. I think this will be a counter opportunity for duck. 
because Duck has someone always on defense, I think Redbot will just overcommit too much. Yeah, the defender is able to, yeah, turn those double commits into a, a goal. Oh, nice. The rendering is stuck. Um. Game over. <laughs> yeah, it's just constantly game over. I think that's Duck. King doing it, by the way, so it would be nice if you could look into that. Uh, okay. It crashes when the game is... Shut down manually. Hmm. I think a lot of C sharp bots do that. Yeah. It yeah. No. I. Hard to fix. Yeah, I always have to press stop in order for it to. So to you was ignore the game over. Game. It's a lie. It's fake. The game is not over. The game is not over. We are still playing. Duck again, Redbot, putting on just... some good pressure, but and also managed to get Ooh. in the goal. Now we on the orange half though. Can Duck defend now that it counts? Redbot, nice hit. Duck double commit. Redbot, oh way over commit for this. Is that is that in? That's in. All right, I started a prediction. Hmm, I wonder who will win. <laughs> Good hmm. question. I that think is it's not the prediction. Bot, guys. I think I might. I think it's gonna one. be Redbot guys. I'm putting in ten points on Redbot guys. Yeah. I think it's gotta be Redbot. I mean, right now, it, it looks pretty favorable towards Redbot. You know, like down two goals. Come on, like. That's true. Oh. Redbot just gives Ooh. charity. Redbot goals. comes Ooh, flying Redbot, in there. Redbot doing some funky things. Yeah. Oh, it's cooking. open that. It works. Wait a minute, will Redbot actually win? Will my 10 points be rewarded? I finally figured out how to predict, so... Yay. Yeah, guys, just ping, ping Rolf till he comes back. <laughs> oh, that's Ooh, just a... a kickoff. Huh, okay. Does Doc use not Red Utils to kickoff? So let me look at this. Oh, that looks like a red utils kickoff. No, red box is <laughs> missed. Huh. Okay. Interesting. It got confused by the game over. Maybe. Wait, the game's over? I don't need to go for kickoff. That's true. You can see the overlay. Or the. And the text, yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. I guess it passed one red bot. A flick. Redbots oh, are just tossing it between clear. themselves. Is this going to be a 50? Oh, not. It's I gonna be a demo going. as well. As a clear. Oh Both Redbots are up, hitting against the wall. Perfect. Oh no. That was very lucky. Duck two missed that one. That was a, yeah. you know, an easy goal. Duck's but I think Duck two one ran out of boost or something. It, it was just stuck in there. Oh, what a save! Wait. Oh, what a finish! <laughs> now the game is over. Amazing finish. What a, like, incredible save. And then incredible <laughs> shot. <laughs> incredible on goal. The contradictions. That took some effort. Yeah. See, that's the thing. The, the code that allowed Redbot to make that backwards save is also probably the same code that allowed him to make that own goal. <laughs> like, it's basically, oh, you're in an unconven unconventional uh, position for this hit. Eh, go for it, I'm sure you'll be fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It was not fine. It was not fine. Although if I had not had that, then Redbot 1 probably wouldn't have saved that at all. Ooh, wait, this is... I don't know who to predict for. Yeah, now we have uh... Redbot versus Filament. Hmm. Hmm. I'm go for Filament here. Sorry, Code Red. Actually, no. Okay. Actually, I mean, that would be kind of crazy. I feel like Redbot... I'd go for Redbot any day here. I'm gonna guess Redbot, but like... Yeah, I mean, Filament is just is is pretty solid in general, but like, it's not that good at defense, which it needs to be good at. 
to counter Redbot, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, the, the only problem here for, for Redbot, for instance, is the, the double committing. That yeah. is true. So, oh, Filament, because it's more spaced out, will have more chances to, to punish those double commits. But on the yes, other hand, it also has to be more defensive, because it's going to be constantly plagued by these <laughs> red bots. Red <laughs> yes, GTA, <laughs> you're just going nuts. One of these times you're going to be wrong, and you're going to lose everything. Imagine I just win 10k. Insane. But I mean, it's fake money anyway, Wait. so... <laughs> no, it's real money. This can be traded for currency. That's true. Ooh, Red, Redbot with the double commit on kickoff. It works. Then they double commit in the, on the post area. Maybe the game over will fool Redbot again. True. Or maybe it's a blue Filament team. Maybe Redbot so. doesn't like being on blue team. Because now it's a blue bot. Maybe that's his problem. Uh... And that's why it own, own goals, of course. Exactly! That's true. It wants to score on blue! It's, it's only want to go upwards and be red. Ooh! Almost a nice hit there. Oh, the double They're aerial. Up. I think that's a big Will mistake. Will be able to finish that, capitalize. That's a very weak shot. It had the right direction, Same. but easy to clear. Red bot versus clear. new blue would be a good matchup. True. Somebody in chat said. Yeah, I always love it when one of the bots have either orange or blue in the name. You should put them on opposite teams. Yeah, and then they play on the opposite team, team, of course. Okay, uh -oh. nice. Okay. Uh-huh, yep. Got one. Yep, the dribble, kind mm. of. Calculated. Uh-huh. Just some funky moves. Oh, yeah. Nice clear away from yourself. Good pass. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, uh, mm. oh, okay, yeah, uh-huh, okay, I mean, wait, it actually works out. Red butt, red butt can put in so many touches in just two <laughs> yeah. seconds, because they're just taking turns it's making so these small jumps. Yeah, so yeah, Filament will be so, so confused, it cannot commit for anything, yeah, the ball like, just I always move. Like, in terms of ball touches, you might, if there was like a statistics to see how many ball touches there were, you might think oh. it was a dribble bot. What a save, what a save though. <laughs> Oh, but the finish. I think we'll see the save in the replay save. as well. That's on the Ooh. very edge. The other filament wasn't there quite in time for the the follow. Redbot's actually somewhat spaced out for that play. Yeah, I was about to say. It's kind of rare to see it. Bang it's basically just luck. <laughs> yeah. Top of happens box. to get boost. Ooh, that's a good pass. But both Redbots are together they decided to both pass yeah they didn't realize that somebody needed to be there to shoot i think it might revert phoenix to red butt and then just add some luck <laughs> here that seems to be what <laughs> it's missing <laughs> i mean keep in mind that this red bot this is a this is technically not the same as the one that you get when you download red utils it's slightly modified it's the version that won the one the the rl bot the leak well, play not at one, they got third. Oh yeah, right. But it was like the best, technically best hard-coded bot, or one spot in that tournament. Oh! That's an insane Ooh. shot. Filament couldn't be there. Uh, Will, I cannot clear the rendering now. It's stuck right now. So it, it's always game over. I mean, we could restart the game, and that could make it go away. No, oh, yeah, even, Redbot's up by three. <laughs> even bottom is rendering is on there, I can see it's kickoff. Ooh, is that the Mercy? Yep. Redbot finishing that game off with style. That's a sweep. Two and a half minutes. So now, yeah, maybe you could clear the rendering now that this game's over. Yeah, that would take uh, a minute, hopefully, depending on how fast or slow Rocket League is. Ooh, 
Scribble and Stardust. Oh, that will be fun. Yeah, this is actually interesting. I feel like Stardust may be able to just outspeed Gribble, but we never know. I wonder how Stardust handles Dribbles. If it's just Gosling, then it should be pretty decent. I know the, well, the skill quest course is based on Gosling, so okay. whatever Gosling is plus whatever they learn at skill quest, plus whatever uh, Fury has added himself. I mean, it's got something because it has those crazy speed flips. Gosling does not come with those. Yeah, that's true. I think maybe added them themsel him, uh, themselves. Themselves. Okay. 10.2k back out of 10k bet. How did? How do you just win every bet? He's like how many? How many a... points do you have, CTA? <laughs> like, are you, is this like all of your points, or is this like? Do you have like a hundred k points like in your back pocket? Hey, East, can you do a Discord stream? I can. Cool. In the, in the meantime, let's let's yeah let's see if we can commentate on Twitch stream. So far, oh, it's only two are. clicks. We're back. Cool bot. But the. Not gonna be able to get that on net. Okay, there we go. Now I can not be behind. Oh, this is gonna be a bot dish. No, Stardust will put that in himself. Why wait? Yeah, why wait for the bot dish to put it in? Actually, Brivel would probably save that. Yeah. Brivel would grab that and just dribble to the other end, so. Ooh, Ooh. nice kickoff. Oh, but a nice block. I think Stardust is gonna have some crazy challenges on Bribble. Ooh. Oh, good Ooh. shot. Just nice hit barely put Dribble. enough speed on it for, for Bribble but 2 to not be able to catch up. Dribble. CTA put his 10k on Stardust. <laughs> Bribble in that rare moment where it doesn't ball chase decides to go for boost. And that was its downfall. Oh, and Stardust wins this kickoff. He beats Bribble's the legendary Brivel Kiggle. Oh, but a miss. But the other one, almost on. Uh, Bribble, can can Bribble turn this? On oh, the speed Flips flips. Really Maybe helps. a flick? Uh -huh. Oh, well, it was a missed <laughs> flick, but it worked. <laughs> and Stardust just going way too far into the goal and not being able to turn around in time. It's a bit confused. Oh, wait, I should have been there. Not inside the goal. And a little bit too far back without turning. See how this kickoff turns out? Oh, actually a hard counter by Stardust. Yeah, Stardust has some really good kickoffs against Bribble. The, the slightly delayed one. That save back there is kind of crazy from Bribble, considering it doesn't jump. Just got lucky. Oh, nice aerial. Oh, backwards shot. Ripple is struggling against Stardust. Pinch the wrong direction, but maybe other Stardust oh, has this. Wow. Have you seen a good dribble from Ripple in this match yet? Not really. Well, you got the one oh. that struck gold, but. That's true. Stardust yeah, that, is that's just that's too the quick. one we've really seen. Stardust just needs one of those aerials to hit. Just hits it above Bribblebot every time. Ooh, we have 69 viewers. Is that in? No. Darius with an opportunity. Oh, it's high. Will Bribble be able to clear this out? Maybe. He's trying to start a dribble, but uh, Stardust just won't leave him alone. Stardust actually kind of reminds me of Redbot. Well, not Redbot, because they, they do rotate, but like, just kind of just running all over the bot, or the ball. Yeah. Just going and going. Almost reminds you of Red Utils, I think. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. The Red Utils bot. Except I'm pretty sure it's Gosling. Yeah, I think it's kind of got some. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Oh, uh, the other Stardust is there. <laughs> Always just brings it to the wall and then waits. 
here with Stardust. Oh, and he's bumped into the air. Very conveniently, oh. <laughs> dunks it onto the Bribble and makes Stardust too able to take that shot. Nice shot. This barrel bot tees it accidentally. East, I think it's first to four now. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it always says game over, so it's hard to tell. <laughs> I was. Yeah, get, now I'm getting fooled by the game over. Now I should not ignore it anymore. Wait, was it saying going, game over that entire game? No. Yeah. I thought we reset it. The rendering is gone. Oh, yeah, it's I just did. appeared again. Yeah, I thought so. Because <laughs> you restarted. Oh, you're right. Yeah, actually, that's a good strategy. Uh, Spox, is that how you pronounce your name? Um, just bet whatever CTA is betting on. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he clearly okay, has some then, insider then knowledge. What's going to happen is CTA, CTA is going to say that he's betting on whatever the opposite of what he's betting on. But then also, we'll know that. You'll probably make like no profit because CTA is going to get like all the channel points and you'll get like two. That's true. 10.7k point. Okay, so you really are putting all your points. <laughs> Damn. That's I want to see him fail one before Ballsy. the end. I kind of want to vote against CTA one of these times because I've got 9.7k. Oh, you should do it on Bitbot versus Phoenix. It'd be you should so vote on Bitbot. Huge. So next CTA up we have Dribblebot versus Buddy. Oh, I really want Buddy to win this. Yeah, Will also calls uh, Buddy the winner of this. Let's see. Better be right. Will. Buddy was robbed by that prior game. Yeah. Against, um, what was kind of deserved the win, but Bribble has also been losing a lot now. Ooh, a nice hit. Oh, wait, this could be an opportunity. Robot oh, with a nice demo. demo. Will the other buddy be there in time? But he nope. does not spawn no. in time either. CTA hasn't put his huge points on anything yet. Has there been a poll for this one? Yeah. Is... Oh, damn it. He did not put Empty all his it. points on one. Uh, he's waiting to the end to see who's in front. He's a smart man. I think it closed now. Oh, wait. Yeah, I... did it? Yeah, submission yeah, closed. Another neutral kickoff. Dribble stops Robot the dribble. Possession. The other one goes for but the demo. Buddy 2 roto rotates Ooh. in. Ooh. Did not yeah, quite tag the dribble 2 like, enough. Doesn't look like Buddy has the greatest counters for dribbles. Couldn't quite predict where that one was going. I think maybe if it gets in the right position, it'll be okay, but... It needs to... It was very Paul chasey and it's... Or it was very fast in its ch uh, match against uh, Stardust. But it seems like it's not getting possession very often. It really needs to get possession away from Bribblebot. I think those aerials that Stardust has really helped it. Ooh, it this could be an opportunity. Doesn't really have a height advantage. Can't aerial this up like. Might go center. Oh, Let's be an opportunity. Waiting. Yes! He tries. Oh! What a save. Oh! Almost on. This could Ooh. be another opportunity. Bribble oh, scrambles. What the hit? He does make a buddy. Nice. Clear. Bump strats. Oh, almost went for the wall shot. Oh, pre flip. Oh, that was an open net, but buddy wasn't ready. Ooh, Let's go for the tackle here. Another open net. Buddy! Oh, oh, it's on the post! It's just off. Oh no! And now the open net. Predict dribble. Oh wait, might get back in time? No! No! So close. Yeah, it just couldn't predict Dribble's uh, turn on that. Good try, though. Definitely could get. needs to get possession off of the kickoff. That's mm, not great. That's gonna be good for Bribble. Oh, Missed what a them. miss. Oh, buddy. Buddy. oh no! <laughs> okay, back Perfect risky. back pass. Yes, back pass, of course. Of course. Double commit here. Oh, but maybe oh, Bribble oh. will put this in? Yes! <laughs> Bribble felt bad. Will just said Buddy's giving Bribble a chance. I think Bribble's giving Buddy a chance. Maybe they're just win right. trading at this point. <laughs> Throwing for content? 
Thank you, Bribble. Oh, Bribble 2 going for oh that demo. God, that He's chasing. <laughs> yeah. I was like, run, buddy, run. Ooh, this could be bad. Oh, nice. Keith's possession. It's it above Bribble. Bribble 2 now going into demo mode. Bumps one. Oh, nice. Buddy with an opportunity here. Oh, misses. Two misses. Uh -oh. This is bad. They have to get back. Bribble buddy, with actually Bribble. a really good turn there. He picks it up. Oh, oh, no. oh, the bump. oh, the bump. Oh, the bump. Nice. That was a good bump. Okay. <laughs> that dribble was a bit slow, but uh, luckily... I don't know, Bribble tagged tag yeah. Bribble in order to gain some height. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> but it worked out perfectly. The other one was mad at the... Uh, Bribble 2 was mad that Bribble 1 wasn't flicking, and so it just bumped him. And it ended up basically turning into a flick, and then was like, fine, I'll demo. Go for it. <laughs> So now we've almost made both an up and a down, and as you can see, we actually have quite a few locks already. Damn. The top is pretty much updates. decided. Yeah, we better see some updates, otherwise the next two weeks is gonna be boring. Well, me and Quad Blue Shadow, we have another bot that uh, <laughs> used to not allow us to submit late, but next week, <laughs> there will be another bot shaking things up. And yeah. Joshi's bots still have yet to be yeah, submitted. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's true. Bots I know there's some bots that haven't been submitted yet, and they will come in, and they, they will then start at the bottom and climb up as far as they can reach. They have to make a By pretty way, good win streak, though. I would there. recommend that you could submit your bots, like, next week, even if they're not totally ready, because, like, you can update them still up yeah. until the last day. It's true. And Unless it makes you... it more entertaining, because we get to see more bots. Unless you submit something that only loses, then it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah as well. In any case. Well, even if you submit a bot that only loses, if you update it, then it resets all of its matchups and it can... Yeah, but you would be at the bottom, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You might as well take your chances and then use something to watch. Yeah, you just need to win one match, and then you're good. True. Who will win? Buddy Noob. Buddy versus Noob Blue. The match is about to start. I put my points on Noob Blue, which is on orange, so I hope that doesn't come back to bite it. But... Oh, what a kickoff. What a save. Oh! <laughs> so close by Buddy there, punishing the... the save... Um, save kickoff. Buddy has possession here. Oh yeah, Buddy's gonna have a lot of space this time because nice there's shot. only one Ooh. a new bud on the field. The other one is gonna stay in goal. Oh, this could be a good counter, but oh, oh. miss. Little new blues and blue, that's edge. true. It's a good half flip. Treating. Oh, that's a nice Ooh. shot. <laughs> it hits Ooh. the post. Oh, it's almost on. Oh, both buddies. buddies going for the back right <laughs> corner boost. Now they're both going up. No call outs. <laughs> need some communication here, buddy. <laughs> they're even bumping each other. One miss. Now buddy two has possession. Uh oh. oh. The pinch. Easy Pink. save, but Blue not even that convincing of a save. Oh! Ooh. oh. That was a good buddy can't seem to get one on target. This could be a good opportunity. Oh, a that's nice a nice shot. Part. But noob, oh, oh no. jumps over it. Little too high for the double jump. That was a very nice shot. Nicely placed to... in the back, back post. Raise the bar for the double jump a little bit. If Y is higher than three hundred, <laughs> that's the first goal I've seen it score <laughs> on stream. <laughs> I mean, no, it did very well in its match against Stardust. You weren't here for that, I don't think, Robbie. It was three to four, and Buddy was up the entire game, but ended up losing. That's the oh. loss. Yeah. Noob with a very nice two-touch, almost a bounce dribble, but not really. 
Well, no, not really at all. <laughs> kind of just worked it around, buddy, there. Counter kick off. Play two. That's not good. Oh, but it works out. Not the best positioning, no. Here comes the shot from Buddy. Buddy. Good save. Oh no, Buddy. Uh. Don't go that probably way. Probably fine. Yeah, there we go. Buddy right, has possession. This... Maybe gets his boost. Oh, nope. That He's again. Going, going again. Oh, good Noob save. With the save. It's really hard getting past that second move, but You basically. Oh! Yeah, he, he needs to make two shots in a row or something to really uh, yeah. get past. It seems like one buddy, they, the buddies seem to clump up a lot on defense, but it seems like generally only one goes really far upfield, which leaves the other one not there for the pass. Yeah, yeah. or the follow up or anything. Oh, that was a bad turn. Well, buddy, buddy's going all the way back for this. Oh, save. Nice. Dangerous okay. save. Alright, buddy. Risky, but uh, not too risky now that the second new bot is so far away. Ooh, I thought that would be good for a sec, because I was thinking maybe new bot would have some troubles on the post, but it did not. Buddy, almost getting uh, that on that. a chance. Oh. oh. Good save. Nice hit. Good to see some pressure here. From buddy. buddy. takes it across. Buddy 2 is going to be there to center it. Is Buddy there for the follow? Oh, he is, almost. but Buddy 2, that's double commit. Uh oh, has an open net. Attack. But a miss. Maybe a bot dish? It's a little Maybe. slow for a bot nah. dish. Nah. It doesn't have the, the uh, does not have the horizontal movement for it. It's a good touch. Buddy now, maybe. Maybe. Ooh, nice shot. But Noob's it's there. Safe. Noob is very good at saving. Yeah, it is. What an aerial. I don't know why it didn't need to, but it's fun to see it. Buddy needs to get get a little closer before making its final touch. Oh, yeah, to the that defender or, other, or otherwise pass. Oh. oh. Oh, so close. Just one goal speak. would this make a huge difference. This could be going to OT. Difference. This could be yeah, the first Yeah, I was about to say that. I don't want to speak too oh, soon. Oh, oh, there we go. There we and go. Too soon. The perfect pass. That's what we've been waiting for. Both noobs just missed it. And Buddy rushes ahead to capitalize. Yeah, finally <laughs> Buddy <Mr>. made <laughs> uh, yeah. Very true. <laughs> finally Buddy managed to get both of the noob butts out of the goal. Oh, oh boy! A pinch <laughs> kick off! <laughs> Yo! Oh my god! 156 kph! Damn! Wow! Okay, Buddy. Yo! It couldn't have done that before now? That was insane. Is that intended intentional? Is that calculated? I might just be symmetric. Either way, but... Of course. But was Qu it intentional? Quite a power shot. CTA may I've lose never seen a pinch like that on kickoff. That puts Buddy in a comfortable lead now. If he, uh, Ooh, now he just flick. needs to drag out the time. As yeah. basically has been happening the whole game. Just don't overcommit. Oh, that's Ooh. not oh, good. And don't do that. Buddy, buddy. Buddy. buddy, buddy. No. Buddy. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of for noob. Because I have points on it, but... Just an unfortunate dunk. And then, I don't exactly know what journey uh, Buddy 2 is going on. What? For the back corner boost and then hesitated a bit. Ooh, oh, but a nice kickoff. Ooh, Ooh, what but a save. save. 20 seconds, no noob. No dunks. That's a good beat. Okay, buddy's yeah. back for this. That's a good hit. <laughs> nice shot. Oh, the curse. It's oh, it's off. Oh, it's off again. <laughs> he lives. It's full oh post. No way. Oh, my God. Oh, an open net. Oh, it's oh, back post. It's a bar. Wait, opportunity! No, jumps <laughs> no. over it. GG's. That was a good game. Dude, the double post hit. The plot armor has been called in there. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. <laughs> plot armor, true. <laughs> That's fine. Buddy got robbed versus um Stardust, so this time 
It's fine. And the noob got noob got robbed against it. I, th yeah, this yeah, this felt like true. a good match. That was pretty even. I mean, yeah, that's true. This outcome. I mean, Buddy was ahead most of this match, wasn't he? No, there was no. one one the no. most of the match until Buddy finally got a goal and then the pinch kick off right after. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, technically, that means Buddy was ahead the majority of the match, but. But ahead, I mean, there were even the majority majority of the ahead. match. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Buddy finally came out on top, and now for the next match, we're going to see Bitbot and Phoenix, and then. Come on, Bitbot, do a thing. <laughs> Let's do hope Phoenix thing. doesn't crash again. CTA, please go all in on Phoenix. Yeah, go in all in on Phoenix. I and promise then, it will great, work. You can go all in on Bitbot. Clash of the Titans. Let's see who can get the uh, the last place. Yeah, who, who doesn't want a bottom spot? This is also going to be our last match, I believe. Yeah, because we did see Noobbot and Phoenix play against each other before. Phoenix, so, uh, no. This is our Getting last match of the evening. Let's see who gets to have the bottom. Phoenix? Ooh. Almost was a good opportunity there. Bitbot. Maybe. Phoenix Ooh, saves that's that. dangerous. That was not oh, a good save. Not a great touch. Bitbot's first goal of the tournament. Let's go. <laughs> See who wins the kickoff. Phoenix. Oh, Bitbot not going for kickoff. The fake kickoff works out. That's what it does. And both <laughs> Phoenix is up. But it's a. <laughs> Miss. I managed to hit each other. Oh no. Phoenix has possession. Alright, where's the other bit bot? Just going for boost. Um, oh yeah, do the dribble. Whoever can remember Philemon's car can now also check if they are similar Whoa. to Phoenix. I think it's a what different a car. No, wait, yeah, I actually know this. So. Uh, I think Phoenix or Filament uses the Takumi. I think Phoenix uses like a special oh. version of the Takumi. Yeah. Bitbot was on the post, I think, and I don't know what happened. Phoenix just shot it straight, and no, Bitbot half flipped. Oh, he half flipped together. Maybe he shouldn't have half flipped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He just wanted to get away from the post, but uh, the half flip <laughs> got him too far. For some reason, that Another I can't see Another fake kickoff. It it has a thing where it um. Bitbot just stops when it's waiting in goal, which it should do, but then it only like re-triggers an action when the ball gets close enough to the goal, and I don't know why, and it always oh. chooses to defend before it chooses to clear it, and that's, so it was going to defend there with the half flip going to, it has like a location what it a, to defend. What a weird weird. shot from yeah, Phoenix, that's... almost looked like it was going for a flip reset. I didn't add that. You added yeah, that. Yeah, no, I know, I know, I know what that was. <laughs> he was trying to readjust again a better place place for the shot, but I don't think it had boost, or maybe it did. Bitbot gets the demo. Phoenix oh, is this going to be a shot? Here. Oh, is that a fake? Oh, the oh, fake! My... Whoa! <laughs> Damn. Phoenix is all about the fakes if you think about it. Phoenix is going very slowly. Very slow, then, yeah. Bitbot didn't know what to do. Incredible fake. 15,000 IQ, so true. Bitbot had expected a quite a bit harder shot. Oh, what a pinch. Wait, Bitbot? Oh, the half lift actually almost worked pinch? there. Being with uh, another pinch, pinch backwards. into the own net? Wait, no, yep. it's off. Phoenix, Phoenix, no! <laughs> Phoenix uh, throwing some errors now. Mm. It did not compute that it was possible for it to own goal. Yeah, it was like... It said, what? It was about this moment where suddenly, error, error, error. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, I did not expect the ball to do that. What was the ball doing? It should have been there. But hey, Phoenix still lives. It's still moving. Much better than its first Phoenix game. Phoenix is still up by one goal. Bitba has the opportunity here. Going pretty slowly. 
dunks it. Will the other Phoenix be there? Well, yeah, well interesting yes. decision. Yep. Very small touch. It actually does get past Bitbot though. Oh, the other somehow. Bitbot goes for boost. for boost. This could be an open net. Being Stu just needs to be patient. It is, but Bitbot's there. Oh, oh and the picked. other one gets demoed. Ooh, this Phoenix could be an opportunity. An open net. Bitbot's just this run away. Be Bitbot, why are you going for a demo? Boom. I, I'm, I'm gonna need to do some work on Bitbot. This is embarrassing. Bitbot was last man decided this is a good time to go for a demo. <laughs> it's a open great net. time. Not ah. even a person trying to hit the ball. Phoenix can't score open nets. No worries. <laughs> that demo him. I'm gonna go demo the one that isn't on the ball. <laughs> exactly. I think I lost every single prediction but one today. <laughs> and CTA won pretty much every <laughs> single one. <laughs> You're just feeding him. But yeah, that means GG. there's no more matches today. We, we actually one turn got up and down. Sorted. We have now sorted our list. That is crazy. So you better submit your bots next week. Yes, I, I want to see them. some new bots. I want to see some updates. Now you know what you're up against. Even if they're like... Even if they're not very good yet, you can update them before the final sorting. Okay, we just want to see new bots. And hopefully next stream will be on the official Albert channel. I think it's called Albert Official, technically, but hopefully. Uh, there were some problems getting that to work today. Maybe next stream will be there. Um, next stream is tomorrow. I think it's yep. next week, but it is tomorrow, where you will see the machine, machine learning, learning side. And they will also go through the first week of bubble sorting. It's gonna be a lot faster than today. Yes. Tune in to watch next door demolish everybody. Yay! <laughs> Woo, so fun. So yeah, thank you all for watching. See you next time. And the premiere of Opti. It's also the premiere of Opti, yeah. Or True. sort of. Kind yeah, of. There's two Opti buds. Right, yes, that's true. So, sort of. But yeah, you will see Seer ver version 6, on the other hand. Ooh. Oh, wait, is Seer's in there? Wait, yes. Seer's 1v1, isn't Seer 1v1? Oh. It's still in there. Maybe a new better bot? It's, it's a new version at least. Higher version. So... Is, is Seer just 1v1 or does Seer also been trained in 2v2? I think it's only trained in once, as far as I okay. know. Okay. Well, that can still work. Two yeah. elements beat two bumblebees. Exactly. So. It's possible. So... Exciting. It's an exciting day tomorrow. There'll be a lot of, lot of new bots New to Seer see for 2v2. And... Oh. Mm, interesting. Said, yeah, I don't know if that's trustworthy. No, this is twos. Zero v six can play one v one, two v two, and three v three. Exciting. Oh, okay. okay. So yeah, tune in tomorrow to see that. Cool. It's the same time, minus the technical issues. See you there. Yeah, minus technical. See ya. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. Thank you all for watching. Bye.